Hi, this is Wes. Um, we're going to do a video here on creating use cases using Cameo. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to create the diagram, how to uh, set up a new package for behavior uh, items in your model, um, how to uh, add your actors and connect them, um, adding your system context block around that, and a little bit about adding a legend uh, to the diagram uh, and talking in briefly about the priorities of use cases uh, and uh, how can you denote those on your diagram, okay? So let's get started. So uh, here in my uh, brain, here I'm planning to uh, do this and I've outlined some use cases uh, for my toy here. And I'm uh, using uh, Peter Jackson's book, um, getting design right that he wrote in this class is actually based on this book. Uh, if you ever want to, uh, even though we don't have a text in this class, if you want to get 90% of the material, uh, getting this book is also uh, a good source reference. So, okay, so we're going to start off with uh, my use cases, and I'm going to, uh, this is the diagram that I plan to show you how to create. Notice I have a, a legend in here with some color, which is, um, I'm using color to describe the uh, high, medium, low uh, use cases, which means high priority is one that, boy, this tool has to do this thing. That's the main function. Where a medium is, yeah, it's, it's in there, but it's not the top priority. And low is, that's a nice added feature. And, uh, but it doesn't always have a, that may be something that you may put on a later version of the tool, possibly, because of a lower priority. Okay, so that's kind of how you kind of denote that. So uh, let's go ahead and, so this is my goal of what I want to set out to create. And uh, notice here in my browser, I've uh, created a few things. I've got a behavior, and this is from the previous video. Um, for the context diagram, so I created this. So let's kind of walk through this. So I'm going to go over here to file. I'm going to say new project. And uh, normally you would start, uh, or you could uh, use the other project here, and you'd go to SysML. Since uh, I am going to re reuse these things, so I'm not going to actually create one right now, but uh, obviously you just use SysML, give it a new title, and that would create your new project. And um, if you're using the previous model you use, which I did, what I did is I did a right cl uh, click on here, the model up here, and uh, created a uh, new element, and I said package, okay, and that created my behavior package here, okay, and then the next thing I did is I right clicked and I created a new diagram and I uh, clicked on SysML uh, use case diagram, okay? So uh, I'm gonna call this one my, uh, uh, let's see, I called the other one. So here's the other one that I created before, uh, right here, toy use case. So let's call this toy use cases two, just to be a little different here. And uh, so I have a blank, and you notice the name here. UC means uh, use case in SysML. Uh, the name of the thing that I'm going to model is in this package. You notice it's here's the type, and this is coming from, in other words, the source of these use cases is coming from a use a behavior package, okay? And then this is the diagram name within these little brackets. So that's you can put that in there. So I'm specifically doing a use cases again here. So uh, normally you create a, an actor uh, and you put them on. So here, I'm, I'll show you here, I'm using my, um, let's see here. Um, so in your first assignment, you're gonna create your use cases in a spreadsheet. So I kind of simulated that here. So if you uh, go over here and look inside my, uh, my brain, you can see I've got a spreadsheet here. And I've put my use cases here. 
with uh, the user in a column. Uh, the basically the use case name. This is a short name, and then there's a longer description of what this use case is. Okay, and then there are two other, th uh, a couple other things you want to keep track of. Basically, three things for every use case. It should have a name, should have a description, and it should uh, also you should document what the pre and post conditions of that use case. So these are things that you want to, and I'll show you where to document. And then there's this priority. So for this first assignment. He asked you to come up with some use cases, and this is pretty good. But you can see how this makes it a lot easier between the short name versus the long name, and putting the user out here, the child, the parent, the, you know, some other outside system, and then the priority high, medium, low. Okay, high being obviously a very important use case. It's a core central plane with the game is the most important use case. Putting it away, setting it up, those kinds of things are lower lower priority. Okay, so uh, that's the idea here. Okay, and also in this, I also created some requirements, and that's one of the next steps. So it's kind of convenient having this all in kind of one spreadsheet. Okay, so what I did here is uh, I created some use cases just by clicking here and, uh, you know, typing in some text. Okay, and then when you, uh, so like here's my uh, my use case for choosing the toy. Okay, I can just kind of cut and paste that in here. Oops. There we go. Choose toy. Uh, a lot of times when you double click uh, these objects, this uh, um, properties box will come up oh, with a certain style. So uh, another thing too to remember is over here down on the side, when I click on the use case down here under this properties tab, has so you don't always have to double click you can always just click in here it tells you what folder it is um, also uh, so it's got a lot of information here uh, under the element for the use case uh, let's see oh under properties here there's uh, let's see where is it allocations oh documentation so here's a good place. You can click on HTML and you can put your description in here. Um, what the use case what the use case does. Okay, and you can put in your pre conditions and your post conditions. So that's a good place to document that. Okay. And uh, so here's my use case. And then obviously to put an actor on, you just click on actor in here and you can create a new one. Uh, what I like to do, obviously, since I've already got the child already created, I can drag the child. Actually, I created these two actors before when I was um, doing the, uh, the context diagram last week. So I'm reusing them, okay. And then all you have to do is you can click on either the child and just use this uh, here association and click to the use case. Okay. And uh, let's see, I'll drag another use case over. So let's choose the toy. Uh, like I've got two choose the toys now, but here's entertain the child. Here's play with toy. Now you notice how the lines automatically came up because I had already created those lines. But if you haven't, then you'll have to add those lines, okay? And, uh, oh, one other th thing here is you can use the lasso. If I want to line these all up nice and neat, I can lasso these things and do a, come up here and say a line to the right or left or whatever and kind of drag them around a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my um, box that goes around here, my system boundary. Okay, and so I'm using this down here uh, where it says horizontal separator. There's a little down arrow. There's a little box called rectangle shape is one way. That's the way we did it in the previous one. But uh, we have the option here under blocks because we didn't have blocks available, I believe, the first one. And you can use system context. So it's sort of like a block, but it is stereotyped just for context, and that's good. 
and you can just drop that around it and you can give it a name and toy is already available so I'm just going to call that the toy so that these use cases within the toy basically is what they're saying so the actors are always on the outside of the system context or the system boundary where the use cases are on the inside okay now this is an interesting um, thing oh one other little shortcut they talked about in some of these other videos if you hit alt and click on the use cases it will select all of that same type here so let's say I want to space these out a little bit better and so I'll say space vertically okay it makes them a little so these some of these things are pretty uh, these features are good so another neat thing about that high medium low I was going to show you really quick is uh, if you notice you can go back and forth between two models by going here and I say oh, I want to see what the other model is. Oh, where is it? Well, oh, that's right. We, we, so this is the, my original one. So I've got these colors in here. Okay. And there's, I've got this legend. Now this is kind of something that's pretty neat. Uh, you can come over here to, uh, create a legend or, yeah, I think up here too is another place you can grab a legend and you can click on here. And if you notice over here under the documentation, I can, this is some, you know, this is my new legend. That's just information. But under the properties, it says legend items. And I believe you can hit the little plus sign. And let's, so let's say the first legend is low. low priority okay and I want those to be I'm gonna click on uh, let's see here low priority qualified name okay just one second here there's something oh adornment isn't that wild adornment click on that click on that click on uh, fill color and the little dots and let's say, now you want to pick a color that's easy to refine, I guess. So I'm going to click a blue. Okay. That's the color for my low priority use cases. Okay. And it turns out blue. So let's go add another one. And you can add them by either clicking this little plus sign here or that little plus sign over here. So here's my new one. And I'm going to say this is medium. Okay, adornment, dot, 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 uh, let's see, fill color, Who, who's fill, fill, good old fill. Okay, so let's use yellow, that's the normal, the default color. Okay, and I'll hit okay, and we'll add one more, I'll just hit the plus sign again. Okay, low, medium, high. And adornment. Now, what color should we that be? So, uh, should we do some kind of uh, red or pink or something like that? Something really striking. I don't know if we dare use that fuchsia. That's pretty powerful there. Well, why not? Just to be a little bold here. Okay, so fuchsia is is that high priority. Now, this is cool. I just discovered this while I was uh, playing around with this. You can right click and you can come down here to legend item. And I can say choose toy is a low priority. And it turned to blue. Uh, play with toy is a definitely a high priority okay so you see here entertain let's see teaches the child okay so let's say that's another low priority and my yellow's default so um i really don't have to mess with those because by color i've got it changed Okay, so there's your legend. Oh, one thing we didn't do here 
there's a little title you can put in here right there and you can write in that little box so you can say use case legend conflicts with another end okay since this is one I just did so uh, use case legends there okay no conflict because I already did this in the other diagram so okay so it's a little bit different a little bit colors a little bit different but that's basically your use case diagram using SysML and from this becomes your foundation for linking uh, importing your requirements creating activity diagrams and uh, completing more of your behavior okay so uh, and we talked a little bit about prioritization too so okay I guess this has gone long enough uh, thank you very much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.